Anyway, chat, welcome to the Mac OS pack. And uh, I just need to remember who made this. So if you give me a second here, I appreciate it. Um, chat member that made this by Krosk, I believe is their name. So this is leftovers and some new stuff. Um, if you remember last time, yeah, yeah. Last time I was able to uh, do some Mac stuff. I don't think I can full screen this. I, think I couldn't last time either. Um, there were a lot of really interesting, weird games from the '90s and 2000s and stuff. I, maybe it was just '90s, and this is the sequel to that pack, including some information. So, Curse of Dra Dragor. Oh, there's also, um, hang on, what was that? Uh, 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 uh. yeah. Boop. Goodbye. Where, where was the, the movies? Uh, so there's the movies chat. All right, well, we'll check this out and then we'll look for the movies. There's movies in here too. Yeah. They always get you with that. Curse of Dragor. They always get you with that. Banshee Software. Banshee creates non-stop action, high-resolution graphics for the Macintosh. Oh, man. They always get you with that. They always get you with that. Yow. Yow. Thank you for taking up this great crusade. I am only able to send four adventurers at a time to Zorinth Keep. Yeah, those are some good faces. Oh, I'm gonna be this lizard. What's the player's name? Clizzard. Clizzard no name. Get you with that. And that's uh, gonna be a scholar. Staff and prismatic missile. Second party member will be this. Name is going to be Jacon. They always get you with that. Warrior. Plate armor. I don't even know what kind of game this is, and here we are. I mean, it could be like a Grimrock type thing. Third party member. Let's see. Oh boy. Oh man. Uh. Catfield. They always get you with that. Can be a thief. Leather. Throwing knives. Oh, and final party member will be. <laughs> Crust Ladriel. Get you with that. Alchemist. Okay. I will now transport your party and some necessary supplies to a secret room within the keep. It is, yeah, it's it's that. It's what I thought it was. Oh, but it's it's slow because you have to like double click and yeah, you have to like drag it over to a party member. I mean, I like stuff like this. Grimrock is one of my favorite games on the Steam. What is attacking? John, attack! Oh, okay. Boy, dark and darker. This is- this is dark and darkest, holy shit.
locked door. Select a player to open. Oh, Clizzard No is dead. What if we pick open with Catfield? No, Catfield has failed. We got a map here? I mean, I wasn't planning on learning a full fucking game. I just want to see some... some good faces, but... <laughs> uh. So you actually do have to open the doors. Blizzard, do you want- Dead players may not pick up objects. Man. Oh, we got spooky skeletons. The sound effects are so perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, combat is basically just press the button a lot. Clizzard no name is beginning to rot. A healing potion is vital. Um oh no. I always get you with that. <laughs> Clizzard no name is dead. He's back. Oh boy. This is kind of complicated. I don't know how much more of this I can play tonight but while my brain continues to rot. But I, I kind of like the game. I Like, if I played this, if I had the Macintosh, and this was like a game that came with it, I would have learned this. I would have really enjoyed this. The white red potion? Oh no. Chat member, you, you must understand, it is much too late. <laughs> Your party's names have been added to the list of the missing, their bone... Their bones should feed the vermin of the castle for many weeks. They always get you with that. Amazing. Great sound effects. Great faces. Yeah. Boop. Mech addict. Yeah, where, where were those? Uh, yeah. Boop. I think it's Doom City. Is or, yeah. This you will behold my dog. Uh, oh, it's weird seeing modern memes in an old yeah. OS. Okay. <laughs> hey, Riker, <laughs> what are you what are you doing there? Yeah. Boop. Yeah. Aggression, hostility, depressed mood, suicidal thoughts or actions. Okay, is that for- is that an advertisement for a pill? Yeah. Some quality movies you got in this folder here. Yeah. A normal long play of Mist? Wait, is this actually that? Yeah, it actually is just someone playing through all of, of Mist. Yeah.
GUI goats. Okay. Weird. Just a bunch of weird stuff. Let's let's check out Chronicle of Ekin. Yeah. Which, as we all know, is Nake backwards, like Snake. Chronicle of Ekin is shareware. If you like it, then please pay the registration fee of fifteen dollars. You know what that means in nineteen nineties terms? Like, get an envelope, put fifteen dollars in the envelope, and send it. To the following address. Okay, get you with that. Hmm. The communist weapon tech and capitalist Awa have been engaged in a cold war for years. Distrust and fanaticism were standard. What? Each side built its army in anticipation of war. Sakaguchi, the leader of Weapon Tech, ordered research of cards, magical artifacts from ancient myths. Meanwhile, Awa continued to rely on nuclear technology. Oh, we are off to a fucking roller coaster ride of a story here. Oh. I, I heard a potential instrument. Cold War reached its apex 72 hours ago. Weapon Tech somehow destroyed Awa, thus eliminating the capitalist superpower and tipping the balance to the communist side. The world is thrust into communism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. People that are saying based, yes, you want a corporation controlling that. that that's going to be, that's going to go great. D this best. Why don't you just put one person in charge of it? Like one, like, dick man. You call it like a dick, like he likes potatoes too, like a dick ta tater. Despite the state of affairs, no nation dared to retaliate against weapon tech. They conjured excuses, claiming there is no hard evidence of the bomb. What, what is all of this story to this music? But the bombing was necessary, at least that's what Sakaguchi told me. It's so, it's so, like, serious. Doesn't our duty to communism extend beyond merely following Sakaguchi's orders? What if he's wrong? Could a man like Sakaguchi be wrong? Is it even possible for a man like me to tell? Please click on the group of characters to start the game. Uh, chat, what could this game even be? It's been 72 hours since we bombed Awa. Was the duty to the generals of weapon tech. Even if it was for the sake of communism and weapon tech, it doesn't seem right to destroy an entire city. What's our plan? Whoa! <laughs> I, I still don't know what game this is. Like, what kind of game is it? The music is going mental, though. Wait, Amano? Oh god, is it is it Final Fantasy VII? Chat, is it Cloud the Planet's dying? Is it that? Amano, Sakaguchi! Nomura! Oh my god. We're generals of weapon tech, it's our job to follow orders, not question them. We need to detain the scientists. Common soldiers will take care of the obvious evidence later. Who's Jed? Okay, um... Okay, oh god. Well... Ugh. Chat. Fifteen dollars. Put it in an envelope. And send it on out. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind.
we won't let you cover this up. <laughs> okay. It, yeah, there's some, uh... Some sound effects are like burps, and some are like doots, and some are dings. Some are just person's Got voice. Him. Goose. Like my voice. Oh, oh man. Duck. Goose. They always get you with that. Dark explosion. I mean, RPG Maker was not available on Mac at this time. Or was it even... did it even exist at this point? It, I mean, it might have. I was making RPGs in like 2003, 2002. RPG Maker 95. Mac never got RPG Maker. Well, that's a shame. Think about how cool this would be if it was in RPG Maker. So much story. Oh yeah, new music, duck, dog. Duck, duck goose. Duck. Goose. They always get you with that. Hell yeah. Duck goose. You know what? This sounds like algo music. Imagine the classics we missed out on because the developer decided to have a Mac. Well, I joke about the same thing. Think about how many cures for however many diseases could have been found if it wasn't for World of Warcraft. <laughs> I, I, World of Warcraft fans, I'm joking. I played it too. And I didn't develop any cures for anything. I'm just saying. When you play World of Warcraft, your desire to be a doctor is just removed. Completely. Duck. 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 How do I exit this? You gotta, this has to stop. This has to stop. Duck. Goose. Bye. <sighs> okay. I want to see Incredible Crust yeah. before we go to Charming. Boop. Red Jack, yeah. so we've got Pirate Game. Revenge of the Brethren. It's a THQ game. Whoa. <laughs> And take his gold watch. By the way, the townspeople are very eager to see you kicking at the end of a noose tomorrow. We'll even have a parade for you. Now I'm warning you. Keep your evil mouth shut. Chat, this is like, um, someone in chat said there's like, new Morshu. This is a new Morshu just dropped. Hello there. Do you really eat people as they have been saying? Yes. You'll be dead soon, you know. There is no way to escape. Of course, I do not have the threat of the noose adding wings to my feet as you do. You may develop the strength to tear those bars from the window. Then again, you may not. We will see. There is no way to escape. No, 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 I know that, but I need to I leave do now. I have the threat of the noose adding wings to my feet as you do. You may develop the strength to tear those bars from the window. There is no way. There is no way. There is no way to it. There is, there is no way to it. I am Jesus, son of Jesus. Okay. Okay. I mean, the visuals are nice. Like, you can look around 360. What is it, scumbag? <laughs> Years of experience.
violence and police brutality. <laughs> the law doesn't need a name. It only needs a noose. Not since I've been in charge. The last guy was a lazy drunk. We've killed more pirates here than anywhere else in British territory. That's great. Did I develop the strength to break these cuffs yet? I'm here, Nick. Who? I can't stay long. The watchman walks by every five minutes. I know you didn't kill Captain Justice. This is some crust. I'm trying to find a way to help you in the meantime. I brought you something. Rum. These faces. Don't be sarcastic. Use the rum. No alcohol for prisoners. Allow me to take that off your hands. He's just moving around now. No, I'm not giving it to you. Penguin. I'm not giving it to the penguin. What is it now? That makes two of us. <laughs> this is some... This is some shit. Technology at work here. The fat pig is out cold, just Jesus. as I told you. You must take me with you when you leave. Jesus. What are, you, what are we able I can't to reach that? Oh, that's what my character sounds like? I can't reach that. Like, that's what that's what a cannibal sounds like. Uh, can I reach that? No, can't reach anything, really. Chat, what do you think? How do we get out of here? Something to do with the fork? Spoon? What if I use spoon on self? Oh. I accidentally figured out what to do. Kind of. Maybe. How fucking shoddy is this jail cell? If you could just spoon out bricks. Why do I need all these bricks anyway? I mean, I could throw it at the guard. Something tells me this is the whole game. Like, just trying to escape the one cell. Yeah, eat that. <laughs> like, what is that? What are we hoping to accomplish? Tried to hit the key with it. Maybe I hit the lantern? 
It just keeps- it just keeps hitting him. This is like your Hitman playthrough. Throw at other prisoner. I tried. <laughs> I tried. Oh, of course. I love games where the logic is just a thing, an amazing thing can happen. You just have to, like, rely on coincidence. I don't need it. What do you mean you don't need it? I don't need it. Why? I don't need it. You No, you need it. I don't need that. <laughs> you fuck off, game. You fuck right off. <laughs> how many more how many more bricks did I need to throw at that motherfucker? <laughs> that was perfect. Uh Mutant Dungeon VR. Oh shit, VR game? Boop. I can't wait to see what VR looked like in the 90s on a Macintosh. Ten dollars. Ten dollars, chat. Someone said Doom clone. More like a Wolfenstein clone, because this this is not all that complex. I guess at the time ten dollars would have been good. Listen, chat, if you want to talk about like weird prices for video games, go back to the eighties and realize that Jekyll and Hyde costs what, like 60 bucks or 50 bucks? At the time, that was what, like 110? I mean, granted, the prices of everything was like different, were different at the time, but I'm just saying like a game like Jekyll and Hyde, which has, it's garbage, or, you know, any, name any NES game that like would last you an hour to complete. And we just loved it. And the difficulty was, usually artificially inflated. That was more an arcade thing, but that kind of carried over to consoles for a while. And then you have, um... <laughs> yeah, and then you, you, you end up spending all this money on these things, and it's like... At least Mario 3 was a good deal, because there was a lot of levels, and you could just replay it and find secrets. But... The value of even a $5 game, or a game that's on sale for 5 bucks, and how much time you can get out of most of these games is just phenomenal these days. But yeah, $10 for this. Uh, I don't know how to... Oh. Well, that answers that question. It was a gamble. You took a you took a risk. I mean, you could rent the game from Blockbuster or something. Yeah. Boop. Death from Above is incredible. Yeah. It says. That's an interesting logo. That reminds me of Populous. In the game Populous, the SNES version, there were like plaid levels or just weird looking levels. Death from Above. Wait, what? What do you do? What do you do? Hmm? 
you use the the num <laughs> you use the numpad to move around. I get it now. Wow, do you see the camouflaged enemies? That's really fucking good. Them camouflage enemies. Oh my Oh my god. Oh my god, chat. I think we found a, a real winner tonight. How does how do you jump? Uh I'm pressing a lot. I one of the buttons muted me, so um, accidentally hit that button while trying to play this here video game. Oh, it saved my progress. Um, yeah, don't know how to jump. Jump is option. How about that? Is that a sound of a chicken? Like that, that classic chicken dying sound effect? I think it is! <laughs> I, I, listen, there is something weirdly endearing about these developers in the 90s just using their voice for sound effects or whatever, like, stock sound effects they could find. Just going... Amazing video game. I feel really, really cool. Like a cool robot. Bye. That's enough of that. Uh oh, what happened here? Yeah. Boop. Yeah. Troubled souls. seems a bit scorny. Play this game. Listen, I, I like stuff like this to sometimes, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be fucking doing here. This is gongo ass music. 
This game had so much potential until it came time to start playing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Demonstrate. Quit now, mortal. I. I do want to see the demonstration. I don't. I like the music. I don't want to play it anymore. I, I would like to see the demonstration of Troubled Souls pipe game. What's the origin of the? They always get you with that sound bite. I don't even know. I, I don't even- I have no idea. <laughs> it's like... One of... 3.6 billion words I've said over the past... 13 years of streaming. Game... Parts fall and bounce to place a part, click the playing field. If the right parts are skillfully placed, a ring is formed, earning points. Oh! Disappears, leaving room for more rings to be formed. Okay. I suppose. Duck, duck, goose. I actually would not play that. I, I mean, again, if I was a, a 90s Mac kid and, and I didn't have access to good video games, I would play that, maybe. Yeah. Ferrazol's wand. Yeah. Play it once. Yeah, boring is probably the best way to describe it, chat member. I agree with that. I think we've, uh... Yeah, let me... Let me just restart real quick. Not my computer. Let me, let me restart this, um... Mac because the colors got inverted and it was looking kind of weird. I wish there was a way to make this, but you have to see how small this is. I wish there was a way to make it bigger because it's like really like ungodly small on my screen. Yeah. <laughs> Now it's going real fast. Origin of they always get you with that. Japanese PS2 games. Get you with that. They always get you with that. It doesn't help, but there were boobas on the screen. No idea how you found that. Vinny, are you going to play Monster Hunter Rise? <laughs> uh, I, I did for a while there. I played a bunch of it. It's, uh, you know, came out a while ago. I wonder if I have to press the option button to jump. The, um... The animation's nice. But once I again, I... <laughs> yeah, it's the fucking Windows key. In this case, chat. It's, it's actually the Windows key. It's option. Uh, 
High details, yes, very good high details I see there. Controls. Eh. They always get you with that. Eh. Available January 2000. It seemed right. fine. Let's go to Power Pete. This is a yeah. classic pack-in game, apparently. Hey, Peter. I didn't want to go out of the clown. Oh, Peter. Peter. Ooh. I, I really feel like this is American Dad. Those are some balls. Oh dear. Is this running too quickly? Classic. This is- <laughs> it's described as a classic pack-in. Oh, boy. Must have been fun to grow up with a Mac. Like Power Pete. And, you know, not get the brick wall maze screensaver. Which you didn't even have to play, you could just look at. Yeah, it's it's running too quickly, I think, because this this is just like it, there's no way this is the intended speed of this game. It's awful. It, it's like really, really like touchy. Every control, everything that you do is just instantly too fast. Sure is infinite enemies. Oh, it's a spawner. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> it's tied to CPU. It might be. Is that Barney? Top left chat, Barney. But not real Barney. Fake Barney. If it's tied to clock speed, yeah, I don't know how to fix that. I, I don't really... I don't care. Oh, Devil Darts! This is like the sequel. The sequel is Devil Daggers, chat. Duck Goose. Oh, man. Look at Jimmy, he looks so cool. Oh, God. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, it's also way too fast. Devil darts. M Morty? <laughs> why is Morty a monster? <laughs> why are you a, why are you a monster? It's just, you may as well just press the button, and just hope for the best. Double. <laughs> yeah, I don't, where did that voice come from? What was that? Like a new human just escaped from me. I, chat, do I have like an incubating person somewhere within my like psyche? I, I have already lost interest in this. Duck so, eh. yeah. Well, there's one more. Uh, 
long story it says here. Caves of Blue Falls. Fizz and Martina's math adventure. Oh no. Number of teams selected. Uh, red and yellow is fine. I am way too tired for this. Welcome, my wild bunch. Tanaka, we've come to hear another story. We want to hear more about that boy Fizz and his friend Martina. Why do they all look like they have PTSD? I think you're going to like my story. No, seriously, like their eyes are all like... some very unusual things going on above Blue Falls. It's like the thousand yard stare. Jack, give me one second. So Watch this and enjoy, okay? And learn. I'll be right back. They've been space object for seven years. They call it the Gold Star. And now it's getting much closer to our planet. I'm helping them read the meters and stuff. Whenever we see all 18 of our moons at once, we watch the gold star very carefully. My parents think that's going to happen soon. Your parents actually let you play with this equipment? I don't play, Fizz. I work. This is my job. Like you have a paper route job? This is my job, and they trust me. So, let's see. First Chat, did any cool stuff happen? Star. I'm back. There it is. Then I typed the three-letter tracker code for my parents to use later. So that's, um, T. I mean, uh, Child labor, 18 idea, moons. Fizz. This is a big job, and I could use an assistant. Okay. How about you read the letters, and I'll type them in. Sure. I mean, I don't know anything about outer space, but here goes. So, that's an S. S. A. Got it. T. Okay. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. This is Fizz. Hi, Mr. Um, Mr. Mr. Martina. Nice to meet you, Fizz. What? So, you're it's the me, one Mr. Martina's Dick. been hanging around with. Uh, Martina, how's the first day on the job? I, I see you've typed in the tracker code, and... Oh, can that be right? Yeah, what do you think this means? Dad, Mom, what's wrong? I don't understand it. Uh oh, we that got another outer wild. We've been following. It's doing something very strange. After seven years of following the same course, it suddenly changed direction and it's heading straight at our planet. Oh, this is not good at all. It's going to be here in a few seconds. There's no time to run. I think we should all stand together here under this heavy door frame. Okay. What should we do now? First, we need to find out where that gold star crashed. After a week, it's like a Martina's weird rhythm to the way this no trace of the gold star stuff they is spent happening. Two days looking in town, two days on Blue Falls Mountain, and two more days in the forest. On the seventh day, they even did a helicopter search. <laughs> Martina and I looked too before school and after. It's weird, Fizz. Something as big as the gold star couldn't just disappear. <clears throat> Morning, Butcher. Come here, boy. Hey, leave my dog alone. He doesn't need uh, any Thanks friends. for the raid, Jolly. Butcher, if I could, I'd set you free now, so you could go back, back and to enjoy. the woods and get away from that mean old Trump. It looks like he's been sneaking off on his own somehow. Wait, what? Look, he's a mess. <laughs> what oh, is she saying? It's the strangest dust, too. Sort of sparkly and... <laughs> Martina, are you seeing what I'm seeing? This looks like dust from the gold star. We've got to set him free and find out where he's been rolling around. We can't do that. We can't just set someone's dog loose, even if it is Trump's dog. No, but we could wait for <laughs> Trump, to escape Trump is himself. the name of the villain of this series. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> four hours from now, I'll bet Butcher waits till dark to go on his little adventures. God, imagine, imagine what this would be like it. now. We'll be the only ones in Blue Falls who know about it. The only thing is, I don't know how late I can stay out. Hmm. Me neither. My parents said they might need me tonight imagine. to help them with the tracker. 
They think it might be one of those rare nights when all 18 moons are visible above the horizon. They've been waiting for this for a long time. If 18 moons show up, they said they would call me on this beeper so I can run home. Fizz, how do you think Butcher gets out of that collar Ch by Chat, how do you think math this, works into I this? ever come back? Good question. Fizz, look. Who is that person going up to Butcher? Ooh, is he scary looking? Whoever it is, he's definitely <laughs> why is, something Why are they Butcher. speaking so he's quickly? Right us. Look, Everything Fizz, is happening so fast. appearing from behind that cloud. Martina, don't make a sound. Wait, this is important. I see six more moons above Trump's house. I hope my beeper doesn't go off. If it beeps now, he'll notice us for sure. Look, Martina, there over Blue Falls Mountain, six more moons. Wow, that so many moons. Three different sets of six moons. Oh no, is your beeper going to go off? Fizz is hoping that Martina's beeper won't go off. And now I'll write the story within a story. Let's find out if he has anything to worry about. <laughs> that, that face. Question one, draw the people and things in the moon problem. Draw, draw the people. And Practice telling Fizz what might happen next and draw what he will look like when he finds out. Yeah, it's, it's like actually like school now that guy's stuff. Gonna find us for sure. Uh, how many times do these things beep anyway? He's looking right up at us. Quick, let's hide in these bushes. <laughs> did, you, did you see that? They just like <laughs> they like deflated yeah, into so them. Butcher. <laughs> Look, paw prints. It looks like Butcher went towards Moonlight Meadow. This is our chance to follow him. Let's hope he takes us to that gold dust. Wow. Think how happy your parents will be when we find that gold star. Yeah, my parents will... My parents! Hold it! I'm supposed to head for home right away. I gotta go, Fizz. But we might be so close to that gold star. I think I'll look for maybe just a few more minutes. Hey, Martina. I if you leave, I'm leaving too. I don't want to be out here alone. I mean... I'm not afraid or anything. Sounds I mean, like Pee Wee Herman. I'm just as comfortable as the next guy in a totally deserted field at night. You Little know bit. what I mean? Like, as long as I keep relaxed and... You know what I mean, Martina? Martina? I found myself at the edge of a trench, cut in the ground. There was gold dust everywhere, but no Martina. Then, from somewhere below, I heard... Trivia puzzlers. How long have Martina's parents been studying? They've been studying the gold star for seven, seven years. years. How many moons orbit? 18. 18 moons. What kind of job does Fizz have? I don't Fizz know. Fizz has a paper route. I didn't know that. Uh, what three letter tracker code? I, the code was S18. I only knew the one answer. They looked for seven days. The dust was gold. They planned to meet at 7 p.m. Chat, this is math. Do you do you want do you understand this this is math? It's remember the numbers that were said in the cartoon. I don't have, I don't have the, no. I, I, I can't do this. I, uh, I'm good. Goodbye. See ya. We'll never know what happens. Bye. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with that. I can live with that. Bye. Yeah. Boop. Mac addict tour fat. Yeah. Boop. Yeah. Red DMC two. I don't know. Is this anything?
Vinny, I want to watch the cartoon. They always get you. Um, no. The animation was actually made by Soup to Nuts, who made Dr. Katz, Home Movies, and more. Okay. I didn't know that. They always get you with that. Bye. Well, why would I know that? Vinny, when are these packs going to incorporate Hoot Wireless? Hoot Wireless. There you go. Yeah. Boop. Yeah. You know what? This looks like a guy who makes Mac games. Bye. I don't know what this is, yeah. this Mac addict stuff. Um, catalog start here. Yeah. Picasso, eat your heart out. FWB software. <laughs> It's like somewhat of an unfortunate acronym. Bungie. Demos. Alien skin software. Spy Fox. Photoshop 4.0. Wow. They always get you with that. They always get you with that. They always get you with that. I don't know what this is. CD that came with Mac Addict magazine, which is an edgy Mac fan magazine and had shareware games. They always get you with that. They always get you with that. You can run the demo now. Wait, this is eye candy? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I had this for Photoshop. You can make, like, cool fire with this. But yeah, I don't know how to install this stuff. Even so, I'm not even sure this is part of the, the pack in and of itself. I wonder if this was made with Bryce 3D. Demos. Vinny, you keep reinstalling it. I, I know, I just wanted it to run. <laughs> Everything is so counterintuitive. Just run. How do I get out of here? Spy Fox is a game. Oh, it's testing the CD ROM drive. Still, birds and chirps. Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No, thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner there. People are getting nostalgia activated. I've never even heard of this. Then may I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. It's uh, I can't even hear it. It's skipping so badly. Enjoy. Mission Impossible. It's good to see you, Agent Fox. Ha! Ah, Monkey Penny. Now this is <laughs> Monkey Penny. Dinner. Right. Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the factory and offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Inc. Corporated, abandoned, and drained of milk. Soon, the entire world drained of milk. milk reserves will be depleted. The idea oh, of shit, chat. breakfast oh, God. is pretty hard to swallow. Oh God. Yes. I Oh it god. Is. Here's the only clue we have. Feta cheese. I a full screened it by accident Spy and operatives took that picture in the office of Mr. Howard oh, god. Pepper Utterly the Third. President and CEO of I'm... Amalgamated Ugh. Moon Juice Incorporated. Exactly. All right. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Utterly is your top priority. He shouldn't be hard to spot. The feta cheese samples found in Utterly's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center where 
Wow, even on a plane, the birds just don't the stop chirping. Is in your fortune cookie. Any question? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny, out. Okay. Chat. I... Lord Kid Me is screaming I'm 30 with kids as a chat member. Wow, I have no nostalgia for this whatsoever, so this isn't really as intense for me. But, uh... And it also runs like shit. The game is on Steam. That's nice. I wonder which one I should pick. The one time I don't need a cab. It's in, like a yeah, it's like interactive cartoons, but like spy a parody. For me. Oh dear. Oh, well, weird. That uh, whoopee cushion was delayed slightly. Hmm. So this is wow. the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. I seem to have arrived unfashionably early, since nothing seems to be open. I should meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. Yeah, this is like almost unplayable chat. It's a point and click. Looks like it says trinket. <laughs> That's what it says. All right, I, I've I've had it uh, quite enough. I think. Please, 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 no more bird chirping. Oh God, I, it needs to end. Are these the super cool dudes that ran Mac Addict uh, magazine? Because I think they are. They always get you with that. They always get you with that. Always. Bye. Yeah. Oh, that's why it says Mac Addict 44. Uh, about the music from the print side. Bye. Yeah, again, I'm not 100% sure if that was intended for me to check out. But. Chiral? Do we yeah. play Chiral? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't have a code for Chiral. They always get you with that. Fungus Mungus. 1994. Is that a lightsaber? Complete two molecules. There's more of this pack than I expected. Like, it's just hidden in a folder. Every time I play a game in this pack, someone in chat is like, My childhood is great game! And I'm just sitting here like, yeah. It's fine, they stole lightsaber noise. I get it, though. There are things that I saw as a kid that I will never forget, like The Exorcist. I can never forget that. Yeah. Boop. Yeah. Red DMC two. Did I play this? I think I played this last time, maybe. Yeah, this was in the last one, wasn't it? You never figured out the controls. Oh, I think this was... You know what it is? This is the leftovers. And this was, um... The controls might have been... Configured... A little bit better. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. It's, uh... It's, yeah. It's, you know what it is. It's a Doom clone. <laughs> Problem is, I don't know how to exit this. I wanted to check out at least one more. I know we're going a little late tonight, but I started late. Also, sorry for the lack of pre-recorded stuff. I've just been, like, I needed a break, truthfully, between all the music video stuff with Redbox practice uh, and just the, uh, a lot of streams lately. I needed some time away to relax. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't exit this. Chat. I'll try one more game if there are any more. It shouldn't be too long, but now I know where the leftovers are. Chat member, um, who's been asking the same question, please note it is considered poor form to ask the same question in chat. How many times? 30? There is a contact form with which you could email me, and there's a, probably a little bit better, better of a chance that you'll get your question answered. I know you may not know that. That's why I'm saying it, and I'm trying not to come across as passive-aggressive by saying it as such. But it's just a... Uh, it's a thing. It, it's a thing. It's an annoyance for streamers. Yeah. I don't know, maybe some of you stream and just don't mind, but... I can't help it. Notice it. But I, I bid you well, my brother in Christ, and I say go with Christ. Be within him. This game is, uh... Mars Rising. Sounds like Mortal Kombat ripoff music. Yeah, look at all these great Mac games, hell yeah. Enemy ships break and they're glass. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Nice. Good default name. Alright, I think that's that's pretty much it for the whole pack. Bye. At the very least, I just wanted to see if we got through everything. Real basic yeah. folder? Wait, what's yeah. real basic? Real basic demo has expired. They always get you with that. Wait, no, no, I want to play real basic. Uh-oh. I think it's paint. Some kind of paint program. Oh, programming, programming. Oh, basic. It's not, oh, like Visual Basic? I used Visual Basic a little bit back in the day. I really did. All right. That is the map pack. They always get you with Thank that. you, Krask. Um, there's also more. I have uh, more CD-ROM-based stuff for the future if we do more Mac OS. I always have a bunch of old stuff, whether it be old Windows, DOS, or whatever. It seems like that's just... There's plenty of that, but um, I, I hope you find it interesting. It is a curiosity. It's kind of like an alternate, for me at least, an alternate of what I might have played as a kid if I had a Mac and not a PC. But some of these games are just like, but I mean, you know, ass, however you want to say it. But at the very least, we got to see some stuff we might not have ever seen otherwise. Um, Thank you for watching. Thank you for making the pack. Thank you, everybody, for joining today for the Sunday stream. Um, be around during the week with Kirby, and maybe I'll start some other games up. Of course, I may revisit Hitman at some point. But um, thank you. There's a lot of people here tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you, Corruptor team. Thank you, everybody who supported our music. The, um, the album was a pretty big success just in terms of not like a huge success, but it did very well on Bandcamp. 
and uh, that is much appreciated. I think we were like number top ten for sure. Yeah, we're top ten right now, which is pretty amazing. So I'm I'm really really happy about that. Hey, it's not triple platinum, but for a little indie band, it's pretty cool. So uh, thank you, and thank you all for watching the Gray Lino sh uh, show as well. Yes, very nice. Thank you, Jackal, for making that. And see you during the week. My father, I was in.